What is going on viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing another one of these Cara Bayo Energy drinks. This one is be on the green apple version but this one is going to be on the sugar free variant. So I got this particular can out of Morrison's actually and it cost me only 60p. Which is actually a very good price because I've seen these go for price marked £1 in corner shops. So 60p is a hell of a difference compared to the £1. Now yes it is sugar free but the other the other Carbeo drinks, the full sugar ones, still, you know, cost the same price as 60p. And I'll put the link to all the other Carbeos in the description below as well, so you can go check them out as well. So anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have a fairly simple can design, but of course we have quite a few colours of green, and of course lime green being my favourite colour, but for the most part, the can is silver because it's a sugar-free variant. The full sugar versions of these drinks generally have the entire can covered in color rather than you know kind of half and half color which is has to guess or represent lighter kind of sugar-free style of taste so the front of the can is repeated twice and then on the bag we just have the ingredients and stuff which is with a green backing on the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything's all standard and silver including the pull ring taking a closer look at the front of the can so we have this win football tickets at carabao energy.co.uk so it's going to be doing some sort of football promotion at the top uh cara Bayo cup at the bottom as well so it's something to do with football i don't care about football so i'm not interested in that and as i said we have the i guess the ox or taurus whatever you want to call it the guy himself uh we can get whatever you want to call it with the skull and the horns and then there's a car Bayo sugar free font says zero sugar again so reading the back of the can what do we have it says carbo is a great tasting sparkling green apple flavored sugar free energy drink now we have caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml, so it's bang on the average for energy drinks, which is 32. So as this is sugar-free, what sweeteners does it contain? It contains aspartame and stevia glucoside. So it does contain aspartame, but oh well. Now I'm a bit read else, what else do we have? We have niacin, panophenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12. And sugar is indeed bang on zero grams. Uh, reading a bit more bottom of the can, seeing what else we have. Once open, keep refrigerated, consume within three days. And it's a product of Thailand. So, yeah, Carberry seems to be a product of Thailand, which is which is cool. But anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. So, I'm guessing the colour is going to be... I'm guessing it will be green, you know, because obviously green apple and stuff. But bear in mind, green apple can be white and it can be clear. So I've got a feeling it's going to be clear as well. It's a, it's a trick question on your mind. You think it's going to be green, but some of these apple drinks aren't. And the fact that it's sugar-free, so we will find out. Right, don't explode. Ow, there we go. That hurt my finger, really strong, strong pull ring there. Look at that. Right, and the colour is, make your guess in the comments before I pour it. Is it going to be green? Is it going to be clear? Or is it going to be white? Make your decision. Right. Hey, there we go. So I guess I was wrong on all three. It's the appley type color, which of course is a fourth option, which I totally forgot about. Apple can be the color of apple juice, which is brown. I do not think of that one. Double, it's a double bluff on your brain. <laughs> anyway, so yes, the color is indeed a light brown. Definitely not as dark as you know some of these other apple juice kind of drinks you get, but it definitely is for the most part that kind of brownie looking, kind of just dirty water. Um, dirty water looking colour and not too many bubbles on the top but quite a few fair bubbles on the side and it is see-through hello so let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of so yeah it smells quite strongly of apples but it doesn't smell like your kind of more sickly apple you get with kind of the full sugar ones um if that makes sense so it doesn't smell like kind of like squash apple it smells more like kind of just it does smell like more of the other fizzy kind of apples more like Similar to apple ties in a way. And I know it's almost, you could argue, it's the same thing as apple ties, but yeah, kind of similar to apple ties, but not as, I just, you know, just a little bit different. But for the most part, yeah, it just smells of your kind of apple ties, a fizzy apple kind of smell. But um, cool. Well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Ugh, that is disgusting. Ugh. It's absolutely disgusting. What the hell? Oh, that's vile. 
Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell are they putting that? What's a blooming date? Let's have a date in two years. Oh, that is disgusting. That literally tastes like it's... It literally tastes like it's gone off. Just gone off flavour. It tastes like it's two years old rather than it going out of date in, in two years. Ugh. That tastes nothing like apple. Nothing like apple ties. Nothing like squash apple. It tastes nothing like apple whatsoever. It literally tastes like it's like completely gone off apple flavour. There is no apple flavour in there whatsoever. That is disgusting. It just tastes nasty. Horrible. Ugh. As if such a nasty aftertaste in my mouth as well. How can they say that is great tasting? That is vile. That is absolutely disgusting. Whether they've tried to do that, to try and make it healthy, but I'm sorry, but I've tried many, you know, apple drinks over, over, over my years and many different energy drinks that taste of apple that are sugar-free and half sugar. And I tell you what, they taste nowhere near as bad as this taste. And the aftertaste is still in my mouth. It's disgusting. Let me toss them out of the can. I mean, ugh. Oh, that is vile. How can they even get that past the... How can they even get that past their testing system? That is just absolutely disgusting. There's literally... There's barely any sweetness there. No syrupiness to it. And... Oh, that is so bad. The rest of that is going down the drain. It just tastes like it's completely gone off, guys. It, it just tastes... It just tastes like it's completely gone off. That's all I can say about it. And it's... It just tastes nothing. It just does not taste like apple at all. If you give this to someone and say it's green apple, they'd be like, ooh, what is that? That tastes disgusting. I, mean, I don't understand how anyone can like that. That is just so bad and so vile. Like, even though it's, and I know people say in the comments, oh, you know, oh, because it's sugar free and stuff. Nah, guys, if you think sugar free drinks taste bad, then you need to try all the Monster Ultras because you'll be, oh, excuse me, guys, fizzy. But yeah, so try the Monster Ultras because you'll be surprised. But, um, that's just, that's not even the aspartame doing that. The flavour of the apple is just disgusting. I don't know whether they've used, whether it's got artificial flavours or whatever. It doesn't really say, it just says green apple flavoured. And that's about it. It doesn't really say anything about um, citric acid touring, flavourings. See, it hasn't got anything about, you know, real apple juice or real apple press in there or any sort of concentrate. So it probably is an artificial flavour. And even if it is, it's disgusting. And even if it isn't, it's still disgusting, regardless. But I can't see on here anything about... It doesn't say anything about artificial flavours, or whether it's naturally or, or, you know, artificially or naturally flavoured. So, but regardless, it's disgusting. It's probably naturally flavoured. That's why it tastes that bad. Because let's be honest, I've tasted so many drinks when they're generally more natural or generally, you know, not as artificial. They generally taste like this. And it's just disgusting. Honestly, avoid at all costs. Ugh. Ugh, that is disgusting. Where's that's going down the drain? That is so bad. Okay, guys, you know what? I think that gets a double thumbs down because that is just so bad. That is just so bad. So bad. So, anyways, viewers, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the description below again. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, or if you want to support me in the channel, you can check out my Patreon. The minimum support is £1, and that'll go towards the channel, new drinks, and new videos for the channel. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.